Hi everyone, Dagwin here. Today we're going to be looking at the New Holland DLC, see what it's got to offer and see what is included when you buy the New Holland DLC pack. So I'm going to run through each piece of equipment individually. First of all, the New Holland FR850, this is the harvester and you can see from this video that it is very highly detailed. It has a maximum power of 824 horsepower, which isn't too bad, that is pretty powerful. Not quite as much as the Krone, the Krone is actually over a thousand horsepower. However, the price does make up for this. This one is £385,000 and the Krone is actually 415 so quite pricey actually the Krone. So this one is going to be probably more affordable for most farms. The maintenance cost is £750 per day, so still quite expensive, but I'm sure it will be manageable if you have a farm big enough to own one of these machines. But yep, yeah, I'm sure you can see there is plenty of detail on here and it does look very realistic. Here's the interior shot, you can see, again, lots of detail, what you would expect from a DLC pack. 360 degree view of the cab, plenty of light and very good visibility. So that is the harvester itself. Now moving on to the New Holland 600 FDR. This is what you can do your whole crop harvesting with if you wish. The purchase cost of this is £35,000, so not too expensive, and if you've got the rental mod installed, it will be much cheaper as well. So here's your fruit types, wheat, barley, canola and grass, obviously that is your whole crop harvesting. So this will definitely come in handy. Uh, maintenance is only £20 per day, so very affordable to run. And the working width is 6 metres. Right, moving on to the New Holland 300 FP. I'm assuming FP stands for front pickup. This is what you'd do when you've actually rode up your grass. This is what you'd put on the front and then you'd throw the grass up through the chute into the trailer, maybe on the back of the machine itself or actually onto a tractor alongside. The maintenance cost of this one is 30 pounds per day. The cost from new is 14,000 pounds and the working width is three meters. And this of course is a fruit type of grass. Plenty of detail once again, very nice. Now onto the Kemper 390 Plus. There are actually two in, in this one. There was one Kemper and there's one New Holland. They're very, very similar. The cost from new is 38,000 pounds, so not too expensive. And this is what you would use when you are doing your maize harvest mainly. With a nine meter working width, maintenance cost of 18 pounds per day. So once you've actually purchased it, it's actually very cheap to run. And like I say, there is a New Holland as well which is basically just a reskin of this one I believe. I don't think there's anything drastically different between the two. And there's an in-cab view of it. So here we are, the New Holland SFI 900. As you can probably see, it is very similar to the Kemper, but I don't think there's anything too different between them. 38,000 pounds again from new. Got a working width of nine meters. So we've taken in a fair bit there and you can see it did have the front wheel on there for transport mode. Maintenance, 18 pounds per day again, very cheap to run, and this is for the maize harvest. You can see every individual little knife on there, very highly detailed, and this is gonna be amazing to use, can't wait to use this. So now I think it's time to take this thing for a test drive. Let's take the FR850 New Holland for a test drive with the maize cutter on the front. We'll just put the Flegel trailer on the back, and take it up to the field. Okay, unfolding, and we'll just see how well it cuts. This is the first time I've ever done it. I haven't tried it before this. Right, let's get it started. All very well animated. And that is working really well. Very good width, high capacity intake, and a very nice machine. Much more affordable than the Chrome. And the, the horsepower difference doesn't seem to be too noticeable either. So I probably would go for the New Holland anyway. It will come down to personal preference whether you prefer Chrome or New Holland, it tends to with these machines. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very nice mod this. Nice DLC. and it's all working as it should do. So 
So there it is, the FR850 in action. Lovely machine, very highly detailed, can't wait to use it. So finally to summarise, the New Holland DLC includes the FR850, SFI900, the Kemper 390 Plus, 600 FDR and the 300 FP. Compatibility is with Windows version including Steam, Mac OS X and also you do need update 1.3 or later to run this. It costs $6.99 so if you're not in the US then it's probably best for you to use a currency converter to see what it will actually cost in your currency. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and maybe it's made you decide whether you should buy it or not. That's the New Holland DLC and you'll be seeing this in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.